Hello kids. Today we will do an activity to show in any circle the perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord. For that as you can see we have sheets of paper. So in this sheets of paper we are going to draw circles of different radii. So the first circle that we are going to draw has radius 6 cm. Now let's do the second circle. The radius of the second circle is 8 cm. Now the third circle. So again let's measure. We'll take a different radius. Now the radius is 10 cm. All our three circles are ready. Now after doing the circles, next we have to mark their centers. So we take the first circle and mark the center as A. In the second circle, you mark the center as B. And then in the third circle, you mark the center as C. After that, we have to cut all these circles along the circumference. So take a scissor and in this way cut the circles along the circumference. Now after cutting these circles along the circumference, we have to fold each of these circular cutouts to form cords of different lengths. So let's fold it. So now we take the second circle and fold it to form cord and then the third circle. Now we will measure the midpoint of the chords in each case and you can see in the first circle the midpoint as it is the length of the chord is 12 cm. So we mark the midpoint which is 6 cm. Now we will take the second circle. The length of the chord is 14 cm so the midpoint will be 7 cm so mark a point and now we will measure the third one so the length is 20 cm so we will mark the midpoint which is 10 cm now after doing this we have to fold each of these cutouts along the line joining the center and midpoint of the chord. Observe very carefully how we are folding it. Now we we'll take the second circle and fold along the line joining the center and the midpoint of the chord. Similarly, fold the third circle. Now, when you open it, what do you observe? You can observe that in any circle, the perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord. So now take the circle and with the help of a ruler we will try to measure it. Now if you can see the first part 7 cm. Now we will measure the next part. That's also 7 cm. 
So that proves that in any circle, the perpendicular from the center to the chord bisects the chord.